Hi, I'm Na from Data Soul, and today I want to take you through the process of how to choose colors for your embroidery design. I'm going to focus on my floral letters design. Yeah, they're available in all uh, all letters, both as embroidery kits or embroidery PDF patterns. You can download immediately to your computer. The link is in the description box, and you can buy them on my shop. So. I'm going to take you step by step of the process, uh, of my process, how I choose the colors, how I choose the check texture, what will be the next stitch I will work on, and how to create a balanced and beautiful floral embroidery design. And you can take it to any uh, floral embroidery design you're working on. It doesn't have to be this specific pattern, although it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> We're going to start with the easiest thing to stitch, which is the leaves, because usually they're all green. Um, I'm going to choose two or maybe three shades of green and just work around my design and add more and more leaves. I try to spread the two shades around the design and not to put two leaves next to each other with the same color. This is why I choose two or three shades. Now we're going to work on our two main flowers. You need to decide if you're going to choose the same color scheme for each kind of flower or are you going to switch them around. I mean if you're going to use the for the base of the flower and also for the petals of the flower the same kind of colors on all over your embroidery. If it's hard to decide now, start with one flower. Then look at the flowers around it and see if you will stitch all daisy flowers pink, for example, if it will be too pinky on one spot or if it will be spread around the design evenly. Quick tip for me, I like to assign all the stem of the daisies the same colors and then to choose two more colors for the petals and then I switch them around the, the design but once the stem is the same it kind of give, gives it a more defined look and it makes more sense to the eye so it will be colorful but it will keep some separation in colors and the same goes to the anemone flower. Now you don't have to stitch all the flowers now but at least stitch half of them before going to the next step. It will help you to make more sense of the embroidery and of the color scheme and it will help you decide which colors to choose next. For the branches which is our next step I will choose two shades um, that will be very close in color and I will also choose them to be kind of bright like mustard and cream or yellow and white or like a light gray and light pink whatever you're working on because it will help give it a more natural tone okay now you can finish the flowers if you haven't done that yet just keep stitching all of them in the same way you decided to stitch them in the previous step Okay, now we're going to add the small thin branches all in the same color. For that I'm usually choosing a darker color like brown, black, dark green and I'm using thin thread like uh, two strands of thread. When you're uh, working with thread usually it comes as six strands so you need to just uh, pull them apart and take out only two and work with that. This is why I choose dark color but I use a thin thread so it will be um, less heavy on the embroidery. Last one are the French knots. They're very easy to make. If you find it hard I have a special video for that. You can check it out here or in the description box. We use the French knots to balance the colors in the design. If you have an area that missing a little pink, stitch the French knots in that side with pink. 
Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials. I would love to know in the comments uh, if you find this video helpful and you can also follow me on Instagram at Atasol Studio. I would love for you to share with me your embroidery and your ideas, uh, especially if you stitch one of these. If you want to see me stitch this embroidery um, from beginning to end, you can check out this video here and also I will share a link in the description box. So thank you again and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!